Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoto, the Executive Director of Hawaii Restaurant Association here on Think Tech Hawaii. And today we are having a great conversation and as Hawaii's businesses are still dealing with staffing shortages and the restaurant community is no exception. You know, we're all looking for employees. And according to research done by the National Restaurant Association, half of the restaurant operators believe that recruiting and retaining employees will be their biggest challenge through the rest of this year and perhaps through next year. So today we're having a great conversation and another resource for our restaurants, the American Job Center. And I'd like to bring on Mark. Hey, Mark. Mark Menard, who is the Business Services Coordinator at American Job Center. Hey, Mark. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Great. Do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Great. Yes, thank you. First of all, thanks for having me on. Really appreciate um, you folks highlighting the American Job Center. Um, the American Job Center, basically what we do is we try to match up job seekers with employers. Uh, that, that's our main mission here. Um, what I specifically do is I work with the, uh, the various uh, businesses, um, to try to make that connection. So you know, we offer um, one, the, the resource in trying to connect um, job seekers with the businesses, but also you know, for the businesses, we do other um, services. And we'll get into this a little bit, I think, in our conversation, such as um, you know, job fairs, uh, helping businesses um, you know, advertise for their, um, for their open positions and really try to, try to recruit you know, the best possible candidates. Thank you. Well, you know, my husband and I always have this conversation is where are all the employees? And I just pulled up the Census Bureau statistics of the Hawaii population that has been declining the last few years. So with our population declining, that even gives us a smaller pool of employees that are potential um, employees for our restaurants. So if our population is declining and it says 0.7% or 10,358 less people from the previous years, and we can see a constant decline, Oahu's population was actually the highest in this report, while Hawaii Island and Kauai Island their population of residents increased, but on Oahu, our population went down. So the American Job Center, this, their resource and what services they provide is so wonderful. I mean, it's just for any business, we're not even specific to restaurants today, but any business that's looking for employees, the American Job Center is on Oahu, in Hilo, Maui, and Kauai. So, Mark, let's first talk about the services that you provide businesses. And one of the ones, one of the services I want to touch upon is the HireNetHawaii.com. Can you share a little bit of how HireNetHawaii.com works? Sure. So, HireNetHawaii um, is a um, site where um, we we have we have a database of people who are. Um, uh, you know, they're registered in, into, um, into that website. So anybody who is actually applying for unemployment is required to um, register into HireNet Hawaii. They're required to, you know, give all their personal information and then also a resume. Um, it also is a website where businesses can also register uh, in, 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 the, in the system, and then they can go ahead and post for open positions that they have. And also what it does, it allows them to actually find appropriate candidates by searching for uh, different job skills um, and, and skill sets that they might have. That's great, Mark. And what we were talking about earlier, Mark and I, was like a lot of businesses forget that this is a resource for them, where they not only can post, but they all can also can search candidates. And we were discussing how even um, the American Job Center does hiring events. Mark, you want to share a little bit about how a business could contact you about doing a hiring event? Sure. Um, so in the past, we, we've done um, your, your, your typical hiring events where we have uh, several businesses come and, um, you know, we've had up to 30 businesses come and we use the, we're, we're located actually at the, at the Dole Cannery. Um, so if people are familiar, the, there's adult theaters and then there's the Pomokai Ballroom. So um, last year we had, um, our biggest event that we had was during the pandemic and it was one of the only uh, in-person um, uh, hiring events that we had. Um, 
So we, we've done those traditionally. Um, there are other places that, that do similar job uh, hiring events, job fairs. Um, but what we really want to focus on is on the individual businesses themselves. So recently we've taken um, the, the uh, approach of actually working one-on-one -on -one with businesses and to um, have hiring events um, for that specific business. Um, so, you know, we've, we've done, uh, for example, we, we've done it with, with Zippies. Uh, we've done it with some uh, vendors out in the airport. Um, we are actually going to have a, um, a hiring event this coming Friday uh, from nine o'clock to one, one o'clock with, uh, it's a specific hiring event for Waihata. And so what we, what we wanna do is we wanna work, really um, build that relationship, that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the business so that we're able to help. One is to understand what their need is and who, you know, what, what kind of employee that they're looking for. Um, and then, you know, with, uh, with the help of, of the business, um, help promote that business, uh, get the word out that, hey, we're having a hiring event. You know, th these are the types of um, individuals that we're looking for. Come on down to the American Job Center, right, uh, where you can um, meet the, the, the staff there and, and actually uh, apply for those positions. Um, so that's really the, uh, the thing that we're, we're what we're focusing on is that that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the business, again, so that we are, we have a really good understanding of, of what their need is. Very good, Mark. And you know, everyone's burning question is going to be, what is the fee to have American Job Center assist them with the job fair at their business? Yeah. So the the great news is that uh, we are uh, we're we're a free service. So anybody who, who comes to visit us and you know um, needs needs our assistance in any way, there is absolutely no cost to them, no out of pocket cost whatsoever. And that's going to be music to the business's ears. We need resources, and the reason we're having this conversation today is because, like I said earlier, many businesses may have forgotten that American Job Center is a great resource, and even if there is an a person out there who knows a potential employee, a candidate, somebody who's looking for a position. They also provide lots of services for those people. So this would be our businesses and restaurants pool of candidates and how the American Job Center helps them is by all these resources. So Mark, let's start off at the very top, which is, you know, you all have um, different services that you provide people who are looking to get back into gainful employment. So we can start off with the, should we start with the youth, the youth services? Sure. Um, you know, Cheryl, as you were mentioning, um, the, the, the current situation out there with the job, the job situation is, you know, we, we have all these people who are unemployed, right? And then we have all these businesses who are looking for positions. So um, ideally, or, Technically, that equation should work, right? You have people looking for jobs, you have employers hiring. So um, that, that should work. Unfortunately, what we've seen, uh, not only here in Hawaii, but also nation, nationwide, is, a, um, is business is really struggling to find employees, right? And we're, and we're, we're no different. And you know, we, we, we hear the same story from across all business sectors. You know, we, we call um, people and they don't show up for um, interviews or they might show up for the interview, but they don't show up for the first day. We even had, uh, you know, a business tell us that, you know, we, we onboarded them. Um, they were ready to start, you know, as a full-fledged employee for the first day and they just never showed up. So, um, you know, there, there's many different challenges. And, you know, one thing I think that we, um, that we do advise businesses on is that, you know, because of the situation that we're in, you really need to look at other um, employment pools and, and to see where else can you, can you hunt for a potential employee. Um, and so one of those areas are our youth population. Um, so one of the programs that we have here is our youth services uh, program, the Work Hawaii Youth Services. Um, we primarily are helping young people who, um, for whatever reason, haven't been able to uh, you know, finish high school and get their diploma. So we offer them an opportunity to get their uh, high school equivalency, their, their GED. Uh, but it's not only just the academic uh, component that we're, we focus on. We really want to uh, lay out a career path for the young person. So along with, um, you know, getting their, uh, their GED, uh, we do work-based learning workshops. Uh, we offer occupational trainings. Um, 
in the in the youth services, we actually offer four tracks. One is in construction, one is in uh, customer service, uh, healthcare, and then office administration technology. And so um, those young people are able to choose from one of those um, uh, occupational um, industries, obtain a certificate, uh, a credential. Uh, we're partnered with um, with our local community colleges to have instructors come in. Um, and then with a construction component, actually, we're, we're uh, partnered with BIA, which is a, a pre-apprenticeship. So after they go through this training, uh, they're, they're able to come away with a credential, which is something that is you know, really valuable when you're putting on a, on a resume. And then once they've gone through an occupational training, then we can also offer them a work experience. Um, so we, we uh, pair them up with a, a job site uh, where they can practice those, um, those soft skills that, that, that we teach here in the classroom and then to actually get some hands-on experience, right, for that first, that first job, um, for them to, you know, have something to put on a resume, also to have some, uh, some good references, which is really important, as we all know. Um, and that's also an, an opportunity for businesses to partner with us. Uh, we're always looking for new uh, job sites um, as work experience sites. And it's also a great way to um, potentially um, get a, uh, a great candidate for a position, because what can happen a lot of times is they'll, they'll come on board as a, um, as a work experience uh, participant. And then at the end of their training, uh, since they're now, you know, they, they've been with you for a while and they, they kind of know the ropes and you've gotten a chance to see them, see if they're, uh, you know, they're a, a good fit for you or not. You know, at the end of their training, if you have an open position, it'd be a great you know, way for you to, to fill in those, those, uh, those spots. And, and we spoke about earlier is also the skill assessment survey that helps them identify. So you wanna cover that a little bit? So on, on Hiring at Hawaii, there is, uh, there, there's different um, uh, things on there on, on Hiring at that, you're, that uh, an employer can use and also a, a potential employee. So when they're um, registering for unemployment, there is um, uh, skills assessments that are on um, Hiring at Hawaii, um, which will uh, kind of, test you on, um, on your abilities, or not really your abilities, but your, um, what, what are your, what, what is your skill set? Um, and what is your, your aptitude, right? So, um, you know, it'll, it'll take you through a battery of tests. And then at the end, it'll kind of give you a job. Uh, hey, you know, based on, on your answers, you might be right, a good fit for, and it'll give you a list of, of different industries and different types of jobs. And so I it, think it's just a great tool to, to try to figure out, you know, you know, what, what your potential path might be. And I think that's so valuable to know where your strengths are, because what you may be interested in and you find out your strengths, it could be a whole area that you didn't realize. Then another resource that the American Job Center also has is free lap use of laptops. And Mark, do you want to cover that a little bit? Only because what I heard was when schools, you know, wrapped up in school's done right now, it's their summer break. Many of the students don't have access to laptops mm -hmm. if they already own one in their home. So, you know, for them to even search for a job or even if they wanted to update a resume. By the way, everyone listening, if you do know of a candidate that is looking for a position, you know, we don't require resumes. If you know of somebody, just have them reach out to me at info at hawaiirestaurant.org and we try to fit the candidate in their area where they live because many of them even need to use public transportation so i'm pretty sure that in every neighborhood there's a restaurant nearby so we always try to fit um, the candidate with that community that they live in so you want to touch about a touch a little bit about the laptop use sure so um at the american job center we, we have a resource center uh, which is, again, it's, it's open to the public, uh, free of charge. Anybody can come in and use them. Um, and we have laptop stations. We have uh, currently, I believe, 13 laptop stations where um, anybody who, if they're, you know, looking to um, go online and uh, let's say, you know, go on Indeed or one of these other job search engines, uh, you know, they're able to come in and do job search, uh, register for HireNet. You know, we have staff here to uh, help them with that. Um, if they're looking to apply for a job, let's say that, you know, a lot of most right, um, applications right now are online. So if a, a person uh, doesn't have to be a young person, it could be anybody, right? A lot of people may not have access to these resources, can come in um, and then use our, um, you know, our equipment to, uh, uh, to do that application, fill out those applications. 
Um, and the other great thing about our resource center is um, not only do we, uh, you know, offer these uh, uh, laptops and, and equipment, but, you know, if, if people are, um, you know, if they're not too sure about their resume or they're not too sure about, you know, going on an interview um, and, and they want to maybe uh, brush up on some interviewing skills, maybe it's been a while since they've, they've been on an interview. Um, we have staff here who are fully prepared to, uh, to help them with that. We have workshops um, that, that we do. Um, you know, to help people. Again, you know, if, it, if it's with a resume, you know, uh, we go over the, the different types of resume, you know, how, how do you, um, you know, really want to tailor a resume to the job, right? You don't just want to have a, a generic resume that you, um, that you put out there. Um, you know, and then for, for interviewing, right, if you want to go through some interviewing skills, we have staff here that we do a workshop to, you know, kind of go over those Maybe some of those, those typical questions, you know, how do you answer, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, which is a, sounds like a, um, an easy question, but it can be very difficult, right, sometimes if you don't know what to say. Um, so we, we, you know, with that, uh, the free resources that we have there with the laptops, we also have um, that also that one on one resource. And, and, and let's also share about the um, access to translators. Mark, you speak which language? Uh, I'm fluent in Japanese. Yeah, I'm embarrassed because I am full, full Japanese and I don't speak the language, but you do have access to translators. So for those of you who are employers, you know, and English is your second language, or if you're looking for a new employment and English is not your first language, you know, they have um, access to translators at the American Job Center. Correct, Mark? Yes, we, we have resources available to us uh, where we can, um, you know, find people. Uh, who can help us with either, uh, it can be over the phone. A lot of times it is over the phone translation. Um, but if, if um, somebody wants to come in uh, in person, as long as they give us a little bit of lead time, uh, we're able to uh, find people that, that can come in and help us with translation services. And it's all about partnerships too. Um, we use other resources with um, our different business partners uh, that might have access to, um, uh, to people who speak other languages. I know Cheryl that you have uh, a wide variety of people who speak different languages with all the different restaurants uh, and, and ethnic restaurants. So um, you're a great partner always. Yes, yes, I do. So every single language you can imagine, including all the South Pacific Islands, we have every language we can translate um, at the Hawaii Restaurant Association. And then there's another pool of candidates. If they are not aware of the American Job Centers, Hey, Mark, let's talk about individuals that have disabilities. Sure. Um, you know, as I kind of touched upon before, uh, you know, really going out there and looking at those, those different, um, let's say, non-traditional employment pools. Um, and what youth was one that I mentioned. Um, uh, persons with, with disabilities is, is another. You know, uh, when, when the word disability comes up, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, we're all human. So we, we have these, uh, these unconscious bias, right? So when we hear that word, um, you know, the immediate thing I think a lot of people might think of is, oh, well, you know, what, what is the accommodation that I might have to make? Or is, is it something that, uh, that I'm even able to make uh, for an individual? Um, but, you know, a lot of um, these uh, um, people who are, who are looking for um, that, that first job or, or just an opportunity can be your, your best candidates because, they're really looking for that, just that chance, that opportunity to work, right? So they, they tend to be the most loyal, the most hardworking. Um, so it's a great talent pool to, um, to kind of find, right? Um, somebody specific for your, um, for your open position. You're so true. In, in my, one of my restaurants, we had a very loyal, loyal person. Um, that person came to work on time every day. It didn't matter when it raining, storming that person showed up and that person worked in the kitchen and was very very um was very very dependable and reliable and sometimes like as you mentioned right they as long as we understand what their needs are we can all work together because we're all human as you mentioned Absolutely. so yes that's a huge pool that i think too it would be a great pool to tap into the other pool mark that we discussed is senior citizens mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, we, we have our youth uh, on, on one end, and then we also have our, our senior citizens on the other. So, you know, um, we see a lot of individuals who come in who maybe um, have been retired for a little bit, 
um, and uh, are looking to uh, maybe start, um, uh, maybe not, not so much a full-time uh, second career, but, but something part-time to kind of, um, uh, you know, fill in the time. Uh, but we also do have some um, senior citizens who are, um, you know, coming in or looking to maybe, um, you know, start something new, try, try something new. Um, so there's, there's different programs that, that we have um, where, where we can provide services. Uh, one is called a CSEP program where um, they place um, the, the individual in, in, a, in a work site where, where they, get, they get paid the stipend. Um, and so again, they're, you know, they're able to, to report to work. And um, you know, for those who are, are, again, looking to maybe uh, fill in some, some um, time, that, some spare time, uh, it, it's a way for them to earn some income. Um, you know, the other service that we provide uh, uh, in this, across, you know, um, not, not just for seniors, but for everybody is also for trainings, right? As long as they meet our eligibility requirements. Um, there's, uh, there's literally hundreds of different kinds of trainings that we can provide for, um, again, with our partnerships with the community colleges and, uh, and other training providers. You know, um, anything from meat cutter to, you know, get your uh, CNA um, to, your, to your CDL if you're looking to drive a truck, right? Um, there, there's literally hundreds of different kinds of trainings that, that we're able to um, support. Um, and, you know, we, we, can, uh, um, we can provide tuition up to $4,000 actually uh, for you to get certified or, or get credentialed in, in some of these trainings. And, and for me, when I speak to the seniors that are looking to get back into the workforce, if anything, the pandemic taught us is, you know, the isolation, it's so lonely and that they need that social interaction. So, you know, I told them at the seniors that I was, I was speaking to, which is actually, you know, my classmates who are all retired and they say, you know, even a hostess or a host or even you know being social again would be so welcome for them so i again that's another employment pool that we need to think about and and to tap into yep. the other, the other pool that we want to discuss also is our homeless population mark right so um we do also have um uh, people who are experiencing homelessness um so we also do provide uh services um to help those who are um, looking to get housing. So along with that housing piece though, um, goes hand in hand is employment because part of the eligibility requirements in order for them to be able to help them with, with rent uh, and finding um, a, a place to, to, to live is, is to be employed, right? So um, it goes hand in hand in, in what we do here at, um, at the American Job Center. Um, so, you know, um, those are also a, um, uh, a pool of people who are, uh, are really looking for an, an opportunity, right? Um, and, you know, I think that that goes across the board when we're talking about, um, you know, the, our, our, the, our typical clients that, that, that we see that are coming in are, are really people who are looking for jobs, right? Um, they're not just people who, um, and unfortunately, I think a lot of businesses might experience this, is that, um, you know, when, when people apply for positions, um, a lot of times they're just kind of going through the motions, right? Because that it's a requirement that that uh, unemployment, right? That you look for a job or th at least three jobs per week. Um, so a lot of times, you know, and we get this this story a lot from uh, all all the businesses that you know we we get these resumes and inquiries, but we call and call, we don't get a call back. So unfortunately, I think that that might be the case where people are just kind of going through the motions. Um, but the people who are actually coming in and using our resources and, and coming to um, seek um, assistance with us are actual people who are looking for jobs. So they're the people who are, um, you know, they're, they're ready to work. Um, they're, they're, they're wanting to work. Um, so and that's, you know, that's where we can really, I think, um, try to match up, um, you know, appropriate candidates with, with positions is because, you know, the people who are coming in to see us and who are talking to us are people who are actually looking for jobs. Thank you, Mark. And I'm getting the five minute warning. Is there anything else that you want to close with? Any message out there? Do you want to give them your um, phone number to your office and email address before we wrap this up? Sure. Um, you know, I would, I, you know, I, I said it a little bit earlier. Um, it's really about relationships. Uh, and Cheryl, you know this more than anybody, I think, right? It's, it's all about you know, the relationships that, that you form with them. Um, not only your customers, right, but with your your internal customers, your external customers, um, you know, you, the partnerships that you have with um, with um, you know training training providers, 
um, and and uh, and likewise, you know, with with the uh, organizations that like ours. So, you know, I really would like to uh, just put the word out there that we're always looking forward for new partnerships um, and any way that, that we can help. Again, you know, help a business um, with finding that that right employee or even with, with uh, other services. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of other things that, that we do here at the American Job Center um, to, to help businesses with, you know, for example, when we're talking about um, business that, that might, but let's say that um, they, they need to do a layoff or if they're going to be closing, right? We have what we call rapid response service where we can um, help those employees try to tr transition uh, maybe into some of those trainings that we're talking about or maybe into another job, help them with the, the hiring net process or the unemployment um, uh, registration process. Um, you know, the job fairs is, is the other thing that I was talking about. Um, or even, for example, if, if businesses um, are having trouble, let, let's say with, um, you know, let, let's say a small business is having trouble with their, with their accounting, the, their, their practices, right? Maybe a lot of small businesses, you know, can't afford, you know, to hire somebody to, to keep the books. You know, there, there are ways that, that we can help uh, through that rapid response. It's, it's called um, layoff aversion is to maybe help that, that business, uh, you know, call in a consultant and maybe get them trained um, in, in the right, um, you know, way, ways to, um, you know, do their accounting so that um, so that their their business is, is stronger, right? Um, so you know it's not only uh, um, the things that we we talked about today, um, but there's there's there are definitely other ways um, that, that that we can help businesses, and there's probably ways that we haven't even talked about or even thought about, right? And it's about having that conversation and building those relationships and finding those, those new ways to to help. Um, that I think is really our strong point is because is we have individuals here that are willing to, to make those connections. And we've, and you've been a great partner to the Hawaii Restaurant Association, Mark. Thank you always for reaching out to me and inviting us to all these opportunities where we can find employees. So we appreciate all of the support that American Job Center and Mark you're doing. So in closing, everyone, again, there's so many resources out there. American Job Center is a great resource for all of the restaurants and businesses to find employees as we struggle right now with the lack of job, the lack of employees. And again, if you have any questions, please give me a call or email me at info at hawaiirestaurant.org. Again, I am Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association, the voice of Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.